and welcome back to another video. This is episode two of Healthy Mind, Healthy Body. And in these videos, I'm sharing some lifestyle tips to help boost our well being and plant based food ideas that anybody can enjoy. They're just meant to be ideas for you so you can customize them and get creative. And speaking of being creative, that is what the lifestyle portion of this video is all about. It's about reconnecting with your hobbies, maybe finding some new ones, and really exploring your creativity. So this whole pandemic has been incredibly stressful on everybody. And despite all the bad that was going on, I still try to find the silver lining in things and I still try to find something good because I don't know about everybody else, but I felt really anxious and a little bit down through all of this. Not to mention this came on the heels of my divorce and moving into a brand new apartment by myself. And again, that's one of the reasons that I decided to do this video series was so that we could support and encourage each other to get back on track to some healthier habits so we can treat ourselves nicely. But one of the good things that I found that came out of this was because I wasn't getting in the car and going random places all the time, I had more time here and I had to find ways to fill that time. So I found a new hobby that I like to do and now I'm able to get into an old hobby. So I think getting your hobbies back and finding new things that you like to do and getting creative, that can help boost our well-being for sure. So for me personally, I got into painting with acrylics and I'm gonna start working with watercolors. And if you guys have followed me for a while, you might know that I also own a business on the side. I've been doing this for 22 years where I make soaps and lotions and lip balms and soy candles and all kinds of things. I absolutely love it. It's one of my passions. Um, I'll link my website down below if you would like to check things out or read about um, how I got started in doing this. All right, so I am actually working on a project. I have 100 soaps I need to make for a fundraiser. So I'm gonna take you through a little bit of the soap making process and show you one of my favorite hobbies in the whole world. So I have to say when I do things like make soaps or paint pictures, it's very peaceful and relaxing because there's a bit of downtime. It just allows me time to slow down. And um, that's what I think having hobbies really helps us do. It helps refocus our minds. It helps us slow down. Uh, we're doing something that we really enjoy, so it makes us happy. Um, so find something that you like to do. You may explore a new hobby or get back into things that you already liked. Um, but yeah, I think it's really important for our mental health and well-being. So I hope you find something that you really enjoy doing and find joy in your life. All right, so welcome to the food portion of today's video where we're gonna be doing some plant-based snack ideas. But first, let's chat a little bit about these new videos that I'm doing. Hopefully, you're gonna get some good ideas out of them because they are a lot of fun for me to make. And I like focusing on the whole picture of health and wellness. Certainly, nutrition is part of it. Maintaining a healthy weight is part of it. But so is doing the things that you really enjoy doing and the things that bring you joy in life. Having a good sense of community, and family and love and support is extremely important. Uh, the way you manage stress, how you move your body, all of that stuff is really important, I think, to maintaining overall health and wellness. All right, moving on to the snack ideas. For me personally, I tend to stick to um, fruits and vegetables a lot of times for my snacks. Um, so that's what I've put together today is a really simple fruit and vegetable little mini platter, if you will. All right, so there is my little mini plate and I've just got uh, yellow pepper, celery, cucumber, carrots, sprinkled with a little seasoning salt. If you're salt free, just leave it off. A um, couple tablespoons of roasted red pepper hummus, and this is a mini gala apple uh, sprinkled with a little apple spice seasoning. All right, and usually I will just cut up a bunch of fresh vegetables like this, keep them in a storage container in the fridge so I can have easy access. Another thing I like to have if I've got fresh veggies ready to go in the fridge are these little open face sandwich type thingies. And these are just rice cakes topped with hummus and my vegetables. 
a little bit of seasoning on top, and they make a nice little snack for me. Sometimes I will have these little whole grain rye crackers instead uh, of the rice cakes. These are just Swedish crisp breads and I get them at my grocery store. There's very few ingredients in them. They're high in fiber, they're whole grain, but I know somebody's gonna say something about these because they are a more highly processed food and you are correct. Anytime you take a whole grain and you grind it into a flour, you increase the calorie density of the food. So it is something to be mindful of if you're struggling to lose weight, you might wanna be careful with anything that's made from flour. And in Dr. John McDougall's book, The Program for Maximum Weight Loss, on page 61, he talks about eliminating all flour products and explains why. So if they're a problem for you, then you, you know, obviously the snack idea won't work for you, but, um, but just something to be mindful of if you are struggling to lose weight. All right, the third snack idea I have is chickpea salad. And this stuff is really versatile because by just tweaking a few ingredients, you can completely change the flavor profile of this stuff. So I will put um, the recipe in the description box down below for this. But remember, if you change up the seasonings in it and even some of the chopped up veggies in it, you will change this whole flavor profile. This one in particular is like chicken salad because I put poultry seasoning in it and it smells amazing and it tastes strangely a lot like I remember chicken salad tasting. And I've also made tuna salad by uh, using nori instead of the poultry seasoning. And nori is the seaweed that's used to wrap up sushi. So I will take a little bit of the dried nori sheets and throw those in and um, grind those up with the veggies and stuff. And it gives it kind of a fishy flavor, so more like tuna fish. And then I've also made a seafood salad where I've used the nori sheets as well as Old Bay seasoning. And I end up with something that tastes a lot like seafood salad. Um, I'm sure you could do like a buffalo chicken salad if you did this um, particular recipe and added in some Frank's Red Hot Sauce or use some buffalo seasoning. I bet you that would turn out really good as well. But it's a lot of fun to just play with the ingredients because you can uh, create so many different flavors out of this simple salad. Now for this particular one, I just used some of the fresh veggies I had laying around in the fridge. So I used carrots and celery. Uh, sometimes I'll throw in some fresh onion, but today I used onion powder. Uh, sometimes I'll throw in some red bell pepper. Uh, I put those in my little mini food processor and grind them up until they're finely chopped. Then I add in a can of uh, drained and rinsed chickpeas and finely chop those up. Then you just add your favorite mayonnaise. And if you're going low fat, one of your options would be to use hummus. So you can either use your own homemade hummus or store bought, but that will act as your mayonnaise and your glue to hold this together. So a low fat option. Then you just throw in your, your seasonings and you're good to go. Now, the way I eat this is either on uh, a sandwich or I'll put it on the whole grain crackers or the rice cakes that I showed you in the um, previous snack idea or like I did today in some romaine lettuce leaves and make these little boats and um, some celery, you know, just put some in a celery stick and have it that way. So snack idea number three. Last but not least, let's not discount the simplicity of fruit. So these little mini gala apples, for instance, are only 25 cents at my local grocery store. And as we enter autumn here in the Northeastern United States, Apples are in season, so I'm gonna be eating a lot of apples over the next few months. And then as we get into winter here, uh, clementines are readily available in our grocery stores, so I will grab those. But I always keep stuff like this on hand. It's portable, it's easy to snack on, it's nutritious, and it can help tide you over until your next meal. So basically, I just keep whatever looks good on hand. Uh, a couple different types of fruit usually, and I'm good to go. And my dad has a trick where he likes cantaloupe and grapes. So he will cut up cantaloupe and he will wash his grapes, put them in bowls, and put them front and center in his fridge so that when he opens the door, it's the first thing that he sees and he's more likely to snack on that stuff instead of something that might be maybe a little bit less healthy. So great idea. Don't discount it just because it's simple. It makes a great snack and um, apples especially are quite satiating. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you found the tips here helpful. And if you like the content of my channel, don't forget to click subscribe because it really helps the channel out. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.